Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question What is task design technique? What task design techniques do you know? We are going to check ISTQB theory and talk in human language after. Let's begin. Let's start with the ISTQB explanation. Currently, ISTQB is the leading global certification scheme in the field of software testing. And when we'll talk formally, we'll use their syllabus and the glossary as references. A link to the ISTQB website will be provided in the materials for the video. Let's get familiar with the ISTQB definition of the test technique. Test technique, a procedure used to define test conditions, design test cases, and specify test data. This definition explains what we do when we use the test technique but it doesn't explain why we need to use it. So let's discuss it. In one of our videos, we discussed the typical objectives of testing, and we highlighted that the main objective is to find as many defects as possible. You can pause the video and read those if you forgot. Another thing we already discussed are seven testing principles. And one of the principles was exhaustive testing is impossible. Again, you can pause the video and read it if you don't remember. For now, we are interested in these two sentences. For any real size system, the number of possible test cases is either infinite or close to infinite. And we are very limited in time. So we must select a subset of test cases to run during the time we have. Let's go back to the test technique definition and summarize. So we propose to add the sentence, test design techniques help us choose a subject of test cases which have a higher probability or identifying defects in a limited amount of time. And yes, we know that it sounds more like ISTQB language than a human language and needs additional explanation. And we'll explain this in the next video where we'll talk more about test techniques examples. For now, we want to talk about another important aspect of test techniques. Test techniques are plural. And what does it mean? Yes, that's right. It means that there is more than one test technique. There are categories of those. And it means that there is a mess. If we Google it, as usual, you'll have dozens of options to go. Testing instructors created a lot of different schemas. Select any of those, if you are confident enough. Some of them are based on ISTQB. Others are just instructions interpretations of the theory. In the scope of this question, we propose to go back to ISTQB. Let's check the ISTQB syllabus. The link to it will be in the materials for the video. As you know, the ISTQB syllabus doesn't provide any schemas or tables. So we'll check the table of contents related to Chapter 4 test techniques. And we can see the structure is pretty clear. There are three main test techniques, and each of them has its own sub-techniques. It's an easy schema which you can learn and remember. If you don't like this one, you can check the even more formal classification. There is a software testing standard, and there you can find even more techniques. But we think it is a bit too much. So, we go back to the ISTQB. Let's draw the schema. It will improve our learning experience. So, ISTQB defines three main categories of test techniques. Black box, white box and experience based. That's all. No gray box or no static or dynamic techniques in the newest version. Just simple three main techniques. And there are different techniques in the scope of categories. The biggest one is the black box category. It includes five test techniques, equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, decision table testing, state transition testing, use case testing. We won't explain those now. Each of them deserves a separate video. So let's finalize our schema. The next category is white box test techniques and ISTQB highlights only two of those, statement testing and the decision testing, and the last category. 
experience-based techniques. There are three of those in the ISTQB syllabus. Error guessing, exploratory testing, and checklist-based testing. And that's all. This is a complete list of test techniques. And this one looks simple to remember, compared to others we found on the internet. You can pause the video and check it one more time. And let us remind you of the definition of the test technique. It is very theoretical. Most people don't ask you about the definition, just why we need to use test techniques. And that is why we added the answer. You can pause the video and check one more time on your own. And that is our answer to the questions, what is a test design technique? And what test design techniques do you know?